Investigators still haven't determined what started a fire at the former John Marshall High School. The fire Wednesday night is the latest in a number of fires at old abandoned schools. New at 5, News 9's Dana Hurtnicki is looking into what's going on. Dana? Well, Amanda, part of the issue is with, according to firefighters, is with maps. There are more new schools and more abandoned ones. And schools, like other abandoned buildings, become perfect places for squatters who start fires. When firefighters were able to put out the fire Wednesday night at the former John Marshall High School, they quickly found evidence as to what may have started it. They had a mattress and uh, maybe a couch, some other debris. Uh, on fire inside the structure. It is a shame. You know, losing history of any kind is always a shame. Justin Tyler Moore runs the website AbandonOklahoma.com, which documents abandoned and historic properties. He says maps left 13 properties abandoned. Only a handful have been demolished, and abandoned schools like other abandoned buildings can become havens for transients. The property owners can do their very best to secure these properties. But they're going to find a way to get in. Major Tammy McKinney with the Oklahoma City Fire Department says the cause of most of the school fires is undetermined, but they suspect they are started by people who don't belong in the building. It's a school. It was school to thousands of kids. Um, so when it's gone or something happens to it, it means something. Still, Major McKinney says the problems go beyond sentimentality. From the fire department standpoint, the issue becomes uh, firefighter safety. Um, when we make entry into these buildings, we have no idea what's been done to the structure. Now, a spokesperson from Oklahoma City School says they have tried to sell some of those Ill old buildings and they have operational procedures in place to address security issues at their vacant buildings. In the newsroom, Dana Hurtnicki, News 9. All right, Dana, we checked and according to more, nine of the old MAPS schools have been torn down.